What's up, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Raising Serotonin. And I know it's been, it's been a while, and I'm sorry. But not sorry at the same time, because your girl's mental health was in the shitter. I was not doing well, guys. I needed some time to just regroup, because like I've told you so many freaking times, I will never give you content that isn't 100%. Because that's not fair to anyone. I'm not going to waste my time trying to talk to you guys about something that isn't real. And I'm not going to waste your time in having you listen to it because that's not fair. So I'm super excited today because I got my boy, Mikey Ag, here with me. What up? Getting into some serious stuff. Just regarding Instagram and just things that we've been on like a wave for for a little bit that I, we haven't got to talk about because... It's been a few. It's been since October since we had an episode, which is not cool. Yeah, way too long. It was on my birthday when I Feels released like yesterday, right? When I released raising serotonin. So we're back here again, and I think we've even grown up some some more since then. Oh, definitely. Yeah, a I lot. Think, I think there has been a lot of different things that has happened between October and now that. We should probably update you guys on. I mean, you guys know my story, and every day, every every week, you know, here we are. Everyone on Instagram like use their accounts like this to like spread stuff that other people don't know, that most people don't know. That's like really simple, but like does you really well in life. Like, especially how to stay positive in a world like it is today. A lot of negative stuff, like main media outlets and stuff. It's usually negative. That's why I don't even watch the news. But that's a whole other subject. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I don't. Every, uh, I feel like you even like update me on things. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> well, about. Well, I got somewhat be in the news with stocks if you're in a stock. Okay, you yeah, got you got to. And what we're going to talk about today is something that Mike shared on his positive perspectives page, and I'm going to read you the first the first line. It says, "Don't use social media less." And when I saw that, I was like, "What the fuck is he posting?" <laughs> I was like, "I need to read the rest of this." And it says, "Use it more intentionally." Follow people who inspire you and motivate you. Engage with experts you can learn from. Create genuine, positive friendships. Just stop mindlessly scrolling, complaining, hating, and engaging in negativity and bitterness. And I literally, like, poop myself when I read <laughs> this because this is why we started our pages. And this is, Mike's caption on this page, on this picture, is why I started this page. Why he started his positive perspectives page, and instead of just like continuing his regular Instagram, that's just it's just your name, right? It's just Mikey. Yeah, Ag. honestly, nowadays I'm just like I'm on positive perspectives more. Like when I'm just like scrolling and like bored and looking yeah. for stuff, I'm like I would rather look. I'd at rather be looking at some like quotes that like motivate me or like something that opens my eyes to something I'm not aware of. That's like quite simple. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like we have to talk about this because it's not talked about enough at all. Because. So many things are going on in the world that matter way more than social media. But at the end of the day, like it said, we're mindlessly scrolling. And mm. that is happening now. Like, we are not the only ones that do that. You all do that, too. Me and my buddies always say we get lost in the sauce. And that's because we just stay on social media, look at stupid shit. Yeah, yeah like, what but is that? Waste of fucking time. A waste of time. And, yeah, okay, you know, it does happen from time to time. We can just get, aka, lost in the sauce. Yeah. But... I want to talk to you guys about the point of Instagram. I want to talk to you guys about why I post only positive things and only retweet or, oh my God, retweet. Am I wrong social repost. media? Repost on my story things that I truly believe in. Like, I'm not going to go and post something that's just like, you know what? I'm going to call myself, I'm going to call myself out here. Yeah. I'm not going to go and post Ben Simmons on my Raising Serotonin page because honestly that does nothing for anyone. Yeah. So, and I used to do that on my regular Instagram. I would post Kylie Jenner. I would post the Kardashians. Don't get me wrong, guys. That's fine, yeah. I love them and we all love them for who they are. And if you don't, okay. But I don't think that's positive but to look at. some of y'all need to focus on yourself before you can focus on Kylie Jenner. That's Facts. all. And uh, like story. posting that is cool. That's fine. Yeah, posting uh, it is cool. Like, exactly. Yeah. We're not bashing on that at all. But at the end of the day, you don't need to see like her giant lips or her giant butt in your face yeah. because like you don't need that. You need the things that we post because not everyone posts them. Like I only follow accounts that better me. I only look at the stories that better me. I'm I think I started. I literally just typed in positive on Instagram because I was looking for accounts to follow. Like obviously yeah. I had like the good quote and a bunch of like popular like quote oh, yeah, pages, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like I wanted some real stuff. And then I like came across Gary V. Of course. Oh, our dudes. That was cool. And like I only time, follow. Even though his content comes like 
a little I, repetitive sometimes. A you lot know, of people but, hate and so that. does mine. Mine's but repetitive. yeah, sometimes you need to bash it over their heads because they don't understand. And I think he realizes people still don't understand some simple concepts that he always and preaches. how how to be and he happy. He does it in different ways. How to, to like create yeah, create they're, they're your good. own happiness because I feel like a lot of the time, like to quote unquote, be happy is like from the social is from social media or the yeah. media. Like right now, like people, I the social media and the news have given you such this negative connotation on social distancing and not being around your family and how being alone and self-isolating is the best thing for you at the end of the day that's killing you but we all understand the corona aspect so i'm not even going to get into that Mm -hmm. but i only follow 417 people on my raising serotonin page and yeah some of them are my good friends and some and the rest of them are positive accounts and other people that i've made the real friendships with like i have more real friendships on instagram than i do have in my life currently and that sounds kind of bad but i don't want you guys to think that internet friends are bad mike's laughing at me right now i'm not Yes, he is. He's laughing. But guys, seriously, like, I have found, shout out Dana. Dana, you are my fucking soul. Like, she, her quote thing is, find your peace. Yeah. And I'm obsessed with it. And she's our age. Like, why would she? I got one of those. Like, she doesn't have, like, the mindset that everyone else has with this, like, social media is this, this, this. Don't get me wrong. Dana, we all post the same things, babe. Like, it's fine. But at the end of the day, like, I found our friendship because of, instagram and because of our positive accounts like i probably wouldn't have found her if i didn't have this account yeah so i just want you guys to know that there are good people out there there are good pages out there but you have to find them and you have to do the work to and do they're that different for everyone like every different page is hit for different people oh my god you know I mean? yes. based off what you've been through yeah you're gonna find your pages like you're gonna get led to the pages that mean the most to you and you can unfollow anyone in real life and online. I've done it. Mike knows I've done it. Yeah. I ha- I have to say, is it wrong of me to unfollow a friend? And he's like, what the fuck, Sam? No, it's never unwrong to follow a friend. Yeah. But it's hard because you don't want to hurt people's feelings. We get that. Yeah. We understand that. But can you guys continue to do what's best for you? Yeah. Okay. So when I started my page, I really didn't know how to go about finding the good pages but mike already had his page way before he had mine or before i had mine so i came to him first and kind of was like why did you even start your page why do you follow the people that you follow because i really didn't know any of the positive influences like he always talked about gary v and his influence on him but i never really understood why you started it so he's gonna tell us gary v might not like say stuff that hits people seem as different I, i've heard a lot of positives and negatives about them so why'd you start your so page? i started it was I basically like you said like why am i using instagram i'm like i was getting tired of regular instagram the people i followed i'm like i didn't want to just like unfollow everyone on my own account i'm like i'll keep this for like like public your regular and stuff. yeah just for regular stuff post stuff that's like maybe not a positive message i still post positive messages on there because i think it's important and more people follow me on that account than the other one but it got to a point where I was like, why, why am I even doing this? Like, why did, why did I get an Instagram for? I mean, do you know how Instagram started? No. It was just like a bunch of photographers, I think, taking like cool pictures of the sky and stuff. Right. Yeah. That's and that was cool. Like, that was like, yeah. and then it just turned into like, like you, you see like, yeah. And like, and, and now like even like everything, you can go into every like, you can get even more detailed and think about like certain professions, like what they do on it. And like 6 9 like as a rapper, like what he's doing on Instagram. Like, that's so... Like we don't that is that. not what the kids need to see. Like, obviously, they're going to tune into that because it's that's the pure, only like, out, he's on. just nuts. Like, and, and he knows it. Like, that's clickbait. But, like, that's yeah. not what we want our freaking kids, like, growing up seeing. Like, I, I think that's so stupid. Bit. Like, That's why I don't even give him the time of day. Yeah. I don't know why anyone would give him the time of day. Because his music kind of slaps sometimes. Yeah, absolutely not. not. But he's, a ra- he's a rat, so okay talk about real and fake like yeah he's disgusting i don't even (laughs) want to get into that but if you like him good for you i'm not judging you because i like little pump (laughs) oh my you just said little pump too this is the whitest podcast ever oh my god (laughs) little pump yeah my favorite rapper is little lean oh my god sam come on now anyway all right back to being real (laughs) that was real that was me roasting you great anyway often happens often guys but it's okay. It's I, I deserve it sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did say little pump. Oh, you like, can still, like oh. at first I didn't follow any celebrities on that positive perspective right. account, and then I was like, 
okay, there are some, like, why do I like Meek Mill? Because I see his music as really motivational, and there's other people, like, some people won't see Meek as, like, a positive per- person, but I see him as, like, changing into someone ever since he came out of jail the last time. Like, he's actually changed a lot, and there's some other people that, like, I see that, like, change for the better, and people They're- still look at them as the old them, and that's annoying to me. That hurts me a little bit, but, like, I'll follow, like, Meek Mill because I see some motivational stuff, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's positive. But like, obviously not everything's going to be positive. Other people like Logic, Russ, like they Ugh, they, they have positive messages, yes. even though they're rappers. Like, yeah, you have I to like actually, that stuff. I dig that stuff. Big I, Sean. Yeah, Big Sean, our dude. I think at the end of the day, I keep saying that. I don't know why, but I like that phrase. But like, no. for real, at the end of the day, yeah. <laughs> you are going to put your energy into the things that you want to put your energy into. Yes. I don't put energy into things I don't believe deserve my energy anymore mm-hmm. because I get hurt way too easily. I'm way too kind-hearted and I don't want that to happen to anyone else. But yeah. that's why we are here. We've been through it. Yes. It feels like. To support you and to be your friend. Like I genuinely enjoy doing this because I make friendships. Like, and it's real. Like we... I and don't, just and we're, we're, si- we're like, sitting I, we here just to spread stuff. Like, yes. We're not just, like, I'm not, nothing, like, I'm not making no, a like, single fucking dime off like, this. Just, and know. I've been doing this for eight months and yeah, eventually if I do get to go somewhere with it, yeah, guys, cool. you but know that that's, that's like, not a, the end of the, like that's it's not, not why angle. I started this podcast. Exactly. I have a full time job that has nothing to do with raising serotonin. Yeah. Like Mike does completely other things yeah. in his life. We don't focus our time on our, these pages to consume our life. We want to just post about it, spread the message, and hopefully you guys will catch so you can on. Use it to every, no matter what you're doing, everyone can use it's it. It's there. I'm. We're both on public for a reason. If we didn't want to share this message, we wouldn't have these pages. We'd be on private. We would still be probably making ourselves miserable by staring at these people on Instagram that we don't even know that we compare mm-hmm. ourselves to. Like I compare myself to Kylie Jenner every day. Not anymore, guys. I don't do that anymore. I got an on-spot question for you when okay. you're here. What? Tell me. Go. No, keep it going. Okay. Well, I don't, like, now I don't compare myself to Kylie Jenner anymore, but I always used to because yeah. I thought she was the perfect image. Yeah. Like, I thought that's what yeah, everyone yeah, 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 wanted. Yeah, that's what a lot of people, and I'm like, that's actually far from perfect. Yeah, and I have gotten so many times, like, why do you support her? She's fake as fuck. Like, her lips, her butt, her yeah. boobs. Like, yeah, okay, you know what? But, but she like is it. a boss babe <laughs> and she's a mama. Like, you got to respect that part. I know she has the money to be a mama at 22, and she came into a very lucky family, but you know what? She did stuff with it. She made she herself... Her yeah, she didn't just sit on her ass. Like, she has Kylie's skin at the age... Kylie Cosmetics at the age of 22. Like, that's huge, guys. So, like, that's what we try to do in every situation. We try to take out the positives in every single situation. Mm-hmm. So, when I say I compare myself to Kylie Jenner, I'm like... I'm going to be on Forbes. I'm going to be in the top 30. Like, I'm going to do yeah, this shit. That's good. Like, those are the things that you can compare yourself to because it's not comparison. It's motivating. Yeah. But and I... And I am kind of motivated to look in the other aspect of it. Okay, like what? Like, I yeah, kind of... I love the underdog. I'll give you the question. But oh, I love okay. my underdog. Like, Meek Mill, like, he made it from nothing. Uh, I have Kylie, a whole I know, episode I know on she's got, like, underdog she did to top stuff, dog. But, like, she, yeah, she had a lot of money, like... Oh, well, she was born to into it. do that it. with, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, me came from nothing. Right, like, he, he was says, in the hood. From a dollar, yeah. That's why I hate when people, like... Like, Drake wasn't, obviously, didn't have the greatest upbringing. Like, I'm not going to say, like, he was rich. Like, yeah. I don't really know. Like We don't know his whole but story. Like, <laughs> but, like, he was on Degrassi, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he, he was like, on he Degrassi. Really I totally from, forgot about that. I don't that. know how he got on that show. Maybe he came from nothing to get on that, but, like... You're like, was he an actor you know before? Still, like, I don't and, know. Like, you could still look at them as positive, like you're saying, though. Like, I got to look at it both sides. You don't like want to be his, too negative on that, but, like, right. he did stuff with it. Like, he, yeah. he made moves, and he did stuff. Like, and now he has a full basketball court in his house. Like, exactly. And Mike loves basketball, so one day, that can be a goal of you. Be like, damn, I'm going to push, 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 get to the top so I can have that. That's where I see our comparison coming from. But if you're going to sit there and be like, I you, need to look like Kylie Jenner. No. Yes. See you later. Use it as motivation, but don't compare yourself to them. Yeah. Everyone's got a different story. You don't different want path. to. Why would you ever want to be like anyone else? And you compare yourself to someone like with that much money, it's just going to lead you to a sad path. You know what I mean? We're just going to be sad. Like, just I don't know, want like, that. The, we are here to promote positivity, self love. Different perspectives. Oh, hell yeah. Because, that was my question. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, why did you make your name Raising Serotonin? I think I. Pretty well, simple, yeah, but, you know why, yeah. but, and obviously you guys know why too, but for any of my newbies, I love you, hi, um, 
I called it raising serotonin because I had a serotonin deficiency. I couldn't create it. I couldn't produce it. I couldn't make myself happy. There was nothing in the world that made me happy. I was depressed every single day of my life. Looking at the bads and things. Yes, like, that was all I did. Was dark. I, I was so that. negative. Like, I just remember like one of my friends being like, I can't be friends with you. Yeah. Because you're so you fucking. You don't even realize it, yeah. I just... was like, oh my God. And then we just didn't talk for a year and mm-hmm. I bettered myself and we became friends again. Sometimes that's how it goes. Yeah, and she didn't do it to hurt my feelings. She was just like, Sam, you're bringing me down. Yeah, that's good. That's a good friend. Exactly. She was real. Right, and I I said, like, thank you, and, like, came back to it. I love when my friends call me out. Yeah, (laughs) you my guy. Call me out every fucking day. As long as it's real, and it's not just, like, coming from nothing you don't know. Oh, yeah. If it's something you know and see it, and I, like, feel it, and I know, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna gonna say thank you. Yeah, right, and I am such a different person than I was four years ago, and three years ago and from last year i'm still a different person but you should always be learning we're always learning we're always growing but i called it raising serotonin because that's people serotonin that's my goal i want everyone to be happy and i know it's not easy guys oh i know it's not easy to be happy and don't fake being happy that doesn't get you anywhere either like i told you i'm not happy 24 7 guys i'm not even happy I don't like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like no, I was just going to, everyone goes through it. Yes. We and just know how to deal with it a little better. That is than normal us. to Some be people upset know how to deal with it better than us. Yeah. Uh, mm, yes. A yeah. lot of people know how to deal with better things than I do, but I'm, sh- we're sharing these stories and From our perspectives because you know what? We have to start somewhere mm-hmm. and I'm glad I haven't gone through some of the things. Everyone's that some... been through some stuff they could share. Right. And you should all share your story because it matters. You yeah. matter. Like, I've never gotten into detail. Like, I never, you don't have to get into details about the story. Just share, like, the message that you learned. Right. You know I, I mean, mean, I like to share my stories. Yeah, yeah. Get because... Into de- oh, I like getting into detail, too. I'm right. just saying, like, I haven't done it yet. But, like, I've shared a you message can, right. from those stories. You yes. know what I mean? One of my favorite posts that Mike has on his Positive Perspective page is just about judgment and how you can't judge people. And I feel like I relate to this now because I am taking it step by step every single day on not judging people. Mike calls me out. He's like, oh, you're judging. And I'm yep. like, fuck. Like, I don't. Do it. I do it too. It's human it's nature. to catch other people judging. You yes. Know I mean? It's human nature to judge, guys. Like, we're born to prejudge people and that sucks. But once you catch yourself doing it, it's, it's a lot easier to stop. It's kind of scary, though, because <laughs> you don't realize how much you judge something <laughs> until someone calls you out. So I that message is so important right now, just because I don't want you guys to think that yep. we're just here preaching positivity and love and all and that. Because we go through shit. And that's why I made my name Positive Perspectives, because a picture like that, like... Yeah. You don't know. Like, you, look, just take the positives out of everything. Like, even when you're going through some crap, there's always something, like, bright to look at, and that'll make you feel better even when you're feeling, like, crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like, that's why I... You can always find a positive perspective out of something. And I say perspectives because there's many I mean, different yeah. perspectives. We're like, not, it's not all going to have the same similar. opinion. Yeah. We all got different perspectives. So... Oh, let me turn that off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mike's popular, guys. I'm not... Nah. Anyway, so I also... Obviously, Mike and I are not social distancing at the moment. But yeah, we are. I'm wearing my mask right now. No, okay, you wouldn't be talking. And gloves. <laughs> well, he is, actually has a hazmat suit on, <laughs> um, and he's 50 feet away. And <laughs> an extension cord for a mic. So, um, but I feel like our quarantines were completely different, and I kind of want to talk about why why that was. Because okay. you want to go first? Yeah. Right. Um. I was super just confused the whole time during quarantine. Yeah, it got to me a lot of the days. You know that, guys. Like, it's not something new. Mm -hmm. And I definitely didn't picture any of this happening. So it was a huge curveball for all of us. But seeing Mike, he was just like, yep, I don't care. Like, I'm going to beat this thing. Like, he was just so positive during the (laughs) whole thing. And I want you to tell them, like, kind of why and, like, what kept you going. Because... I was struggled on so many days, and I'm supposed to be, like, the positive. Not, like, Mike obviously is positive, and mm-hmm. we influence each other, but, and he obviously helped me through my hard days, and I help him through whatever, even, even if you do have hard days, I am there for him. So, because he mm-hmm. does, because that's normal, but... Yes, absolutely. I don't think... Because I struggled, so I kind of want you to, like, just, like, go off about how All right. you can be positive during this. Well, first, first, I gotta thank, like my family for my upbringing like making me they're 
chiropractic and like medical my mom's a nurse so i got like the med and the holistic like health kind of like both sides so i hear everything and like i don't know they just made me like super aware of what this disease was in the beginning so i kind of never really was scared myself i just was scared older people and people that just have like underlying diseases that i know like i was worried about them like i didn't want to pass it to them obviously like i was really social distancing for like a while like right. i was beginning. really like yeah, yeah and i still am i wear my mask like obviously like we you got to like, yeah like i do go you got to but right when i get my right when i get out of the store i rip that off i'm not scared of it like yeah no now I'm and not. i'm not hanging around old people like you could be like yeah you're not scared of it but you're gonna give it to someone else but no i'm not chilling with anyone old like if i'm right. hanging with a young person we're right. both like Healthy. we're both on the same page we're both aware of what we're doing and we're yeah. not scared of it if you're scared of it that's even gonna weaken your immune system even more and your mind staying inside is going to weaken your immune system yeah, because guys, you need get, vitamin D. Get outside. Even if you're not going anywhere, just go outside, lay go outside your, on your porch or something. Like, like, just sit there. Let the sun hit you. Like, I, I did don't know. that. You guys knew I did that when I was at Pit- in Pittsburgh. Like, I would literally just sit outside because I needed it. Yeah. And the sun, huge help to yeah. everything. Definitely raises your Drink your water, tone. get your vitamin D, vitamin C, like... Take care of yourself, and you'll be fine, even if you're, like, older. Like, I, my dad even got it. I don't know if he would, like, like me telling you guys that. Um, I'll talk to him about it. But um, but he got it early on. I was It was early on. Like I said, I was, like, still worried to go over there. I was like, I don't want to get it, go over there and get it and spread it. Yeah. But um, I knew people that were, like, still there that didn't care. Oh, others house. Young people, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, damn. At first, I didn't get it, but then, like, I don't know. They helped me, like, understand. understand. And I'm like, he's like. I don't know. They basically were just like, I'm not worried about it. My immune system is like awesome. I, I like I'm, like, I'm not scared of it because I know I take care of myself. And I then know. that's when it hit me. I was like, if I take care of myself and just, it, I'll be fine. Like, what it could you? It's not like we are unhealthy. And it's people. like a super high or super low death rate. Like, like For I, yeah. kids our age or twenty nine kids. We're it's, not I, kids. I know. We like, adults. I know if you had someone pass away from it. Like, I've like I don't know anyone personally, but yeah, it's super sad. Like, I. I know, I'm, I'm not, like, it's, talking, I don't want to, like, be disrespectful. I'm yeah. just saying, like, it's, it was I don't really know. Hard it's, it's hard for everyone to stay positive, and I just wanted to. But they're to, making us, like, too scared over something so small. You right. know what I mean? Like, but, it's not, okay, people, we're not, we're not people, gonna get into the people side, die though. off the flu and stuff. Like, I'm just saying, like, people die every day. Think about all the people. There's, okay, you, all right. This okay. is why we're making it. We want to stay positive. Right. This is how I look at it. Even in a negative situation, I find the positives. Shout out Gary V for come saying this, and it really helped me like gain this perspective. I'm like, he's right. Um, think about all the people would have been dying in car accidents or like anything right. in this, like that's that that true. people aren't dying from right now. Like it's it's crazy. I don't know. No, the definitely I see that point. The of death view. rate isn't much higher than what the normal death rate is when people are just living. Like, right. it's, I don't know. I this, it's, this could be a huge wake up call for all of us, and I hope we take it as a positive. I don't know. I'm not trying to be. I just wanted to be, I guess, like political, this, but yeah, I, I just want to be political. like. I want to be. I want to be positive. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There is definitely things that I'm worried about going into the future, mm-hmm. but you can't worry about those things because we don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. So that's kind of how so I've been stop, looking at it. Stop wasting time being negative and let's find positives and Throughout find your day, like, ways to beat this. Be happy that you don't have it. Be positive you don't have it. Like, don't even, don't waste your time dwelling on what if. Because that, at the end of the day, that's what's going to hurt you. And you're just going to become weak-minded. You're just not going to be able to get out of bed at that point. It sucks. We all get it. This quarantine is not easy. So doing the things to remain positive and reading the quotes, reading your favorite books, watching your favorite shows, do those things. Work out in your house. I personally can't do that, but if you can, that props to you. But there are things that... You can answer. What's up, Check Wayne? We're podcasting, boy. <laughs> You're on the podcast. Let's go. Say something real. Hi, Chicken Wing. Say hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good. How are you? How's your day going? You know, same shit, different day. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you doing to stay positive? I am trying to go outside as much as possible. Yay! Yes, we said that. that. Awesome. You're, you're dope. Really as much as possible. Cool. Oh, I wish we had a camera right now. Chicken, you're the goat. Okay, you know, I think we spit enough spit enough truth today. And I hope you guys really loved this episode. 
but you know, we just gotta do a what's up, baby? What it do, baby? All right, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.